If you've been curious about Jesse Curl, here is a week in review with tips on trying out a new product line and learning about your hair along the way. Hello, this is April with The Curl Story and today I'm sharing two wash days and three product combos from Jesse Curl and some damp refreshes to salvage some frizzy days. So let's get right into it. My first test wash was with Jesse Curl's Confident Coils and Rocking Ringlets. Now the Confident Coils is for defining the curls. It also adds some humidity protection and the Rocking Ringlets is their original product and it's a curl enhancer that has light hold. So I washed my hair last night then just slept on it after it was completely dry and when I woke up this morning there was no gel cast there was no crunch nothing to scrunch out and take a look at this bottom layer it looks stringy it looks dehydrated so I'm gonna go right away and get started with the damp refresh now the products have a lot of natural ingredients so the instructions say to shake it before applying it and I'm going to dampen my hair first before applying more product and this is just because just in case I didn't use enough product and maybe there wasn't enough water in my hair so I'm wetting my hands in the sink then smoothing the water down through my hair and then applying just a pea size amount to these little sections of hair I'm going to start with this bottom layer and then work my way all the way up to the top I'll also link below some other refresh videos as well but I'm just going to speed this up so you can see just how I generally approach a refresh and this is a great way to really section the hair and make sure there's no curl left behind so you really don't want that surprise of that pocket of dry frizzy hair in the back of your head that you didn't catch this curl by curl refresh then is really organized and makes it super fast you don't have to go back to areas that you've already refreshed it really only takes me about five minutes to do all of my hair you can use a spray bottle if you prefer but i find it more cumbersome mostly because my hands are wet they're slippery with product it's hard to hold the bottle and then the misting sprayer just doesn't give me enough water and it just sprays all over the place when I'm really trying to isolate hydrating each curl by curl so I really find that it's much more effective if I just have a bowl of water or dip my hand in the sink in order to completely wet my hand and then be able to smooth that water over each curl. So you can already see how quick this is moving along. It's an easy way to refresh the crown area and the top of my hair. Then I'm going to use this flat hand method. So I'm going to just emulsify some product into my wet hands and then smooth it all over the exposed areas around my crown, around my face, where all those baby hairs are. <laughs> So it really just helps to smooth away those flyaways. You may not have flyaways. Some of us have a whole lot and they're going to stick out no matter what. So at least let's get a little product on them <laughs> to kind of help them blend in a little bit more. Now this product looks pretty good at this point, but I'm still disappointed in that dry stringy bottom layer. So the second morning results were disappointing because my hair is dry and frizzy again. You can see a lot of frizz just over the top of my hair, definitely more flyaways on the side. Every time I do touch my hair, it creates more frizz. So that just means that I need a different product combination for my hair, for my lifestyle that will hold more moisture and will hold the curls. A little bit better so for my second wash day attempt I am trying still the rocking ringlets for that curl enhancement but I'm adding on top of that the spiralicious gel which is a much stronger hold gel I can already tell that I'm going to have a great gel cast with this spiralicious gel. Now I just applied the product the same way I did for the previous wash day I just raked it in 
gently scrunched and made sure that the product was evenly distributed all throughout my hair. I can actually feel that it is everywhere and look how crunchy it is. <laughs> it's super crunchy so I don't know if I even put too much but uh, I did dry plop for just 15 minutes and then I just clipped up my roots and air dried the rest of the way. So here's the final result of that. I still see a little bit of frizz around my crown and those fly away so for some reason the product isn't really attaching to those flyaways very well so I'm a little bit surprised at that so I'm going to be very gentle um, with fluffing because I'm not sure how this product reacts and I don't want to create even more frizz but I do want to make sure that my hair is not stuck to my head that I really have that lift so I do need to move it around a little bit and then I'll just gently try to take out some of that crispiness some of that crunch from the gel cast here and note that this is completely optional. So on my daughter's hair, for example, she has tighter curls that dry out much quicker. So we never scrunch out the gel crunch from her hair. It actually looks great on her hair. It gives her some more definition. It actually gives her more shine by not disturbing that product um, from my hair. However, I want to actually lose a little bit of that definition and I want to get some more volume so I do love to scrunch out the crunch of my loose curls to definitely give them some more lift allow them some more mobility to move and um, on my hair I just feel like that gives my hair a more natural look but look I've created frizz so <laughs> exactly what we've talked about so definitely with this particular product it seems like any type of movement or manipulation is going to break down the product and cause frizz so <laughs> here is morning two with this second product lineup and here's just another way that I like to create volume by just combing out the first inch of those roots so that there aren't curl clumps that are right at the root. I really want to add some more lift there and I'm going to do that before I refresh today. So I, but this day two looks so much better than the previous product lineup day two so I definitely have more definition it's just those flyaways mostly at the crown and surrounding my face that I'm still having a problem with but for this refresh I'm going to still add some more water add the spiralicious gel to bring back the hold but I'm also going to add the hairspray at the very end to add just another sealing product and hopefully that will give me the longevity that I'm looking for as well. And during this refresh, I just wanted to highlight how I use this styling clip, this alligator clip. It's called a blow dry clip, different things, but it has some teeth on it. And how I just keep using that to section my hair, moving it around. And I'm only using one here, but if you need to use several, you can where you can just separate all your hair in the beginning and then just take down each section at a time. Whereas here, I'm just sectioning one small area and then just making the sections as I go along and move up closer to the top of my head. And once I get to the top of my head, I am working on smaller sections and just sort of doing more detail work, especially on those face framing layers as well. And once you finish refreshing all of your hair, don't forget the flat hand finish. So you just take any leftover product or add a little bit of more product to your wet hands, emulsify it, and then just wipe that product all the way around. I like to do it just on all of the edges so that whether 
I'm wearing my hair down or if I decide to put my hair up, all of those edges have some product that's already been smoothed over them. Okay, and now for the added product. So this is the hairspray from the Jesse Curl line and I'm trying to really use it almost as a spray gel. So I'm lifting up my hair and trying to spray it so it coats everywhere. I don't just want to coat the top of my hair as I would when I'm just using the hairspray as a finishing product to a hairstyle. And this hairspray technique on wet hair not only provides extra hold and maybe even a little bit of extra shine, but it also just creates more lift to the hair. So rather than volume coming from frizz, this volume is being created just by separation of those curl clumps, so not allowing them to collapse into each other. So, oh yes, and there's that cowlick. So what I'm gonna do before this hairstyle completely dries is to just comb out the hair <laughs> around that cowlick to just open it up and blend it in with the rest of the hair and then hopefully it'll dry that way. And wait, before I make the mistake of scrunching out this crunch <laughs> from this refresh, I'm going to go get my hair towel that's a smooth muslin cotton and use that to scrunch out the crunch. And I'm really impressed because I do feel like I have a lot more curl enhancement. My curls have a lot of volume. They have a lot of bounce. And then with the added hairspray, I definitely feel like they're the curls are not as delicate they're not breaking apart as easily and there's much less frizz we covered a lot of topics in this one video it can be really exciting or it can be really daunting to try out a completely new product line especially if you're just starting out on your curly hair journey so i hope this was helpful to learn how to start with maybe just a few products and then layer or change your products depending on the finish that you'd like to create. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.